Today we're taking the stock Suron out on this lakeside single track. It's beautiful. I wanna see how many miles we can get because it's steep and awesome. I think we can do work today. Now the only upgrades on the bike that are gonna affect range is a slightly heavier tire and a 54 tooth sprocket. Now this lower gearing is gonna help us get up the high hills and it's gonna conserve a little bit on range because hopefully we're not on full throttle as often as we would be with the stock gearing. Let's cut the music and let's get it. All right, so that's the bike. We're at 100% battery. Begin workout. <laughs> we are on my new favorite single track right alongside the lake. It's absolutely beautiful. We've got about an hour of daylight left. And if you're really going hard on the stock Suron, you can kill it in about an hour. <laughs> so let's see if we can do just that on the single track. And if you hear my battery flopping around, that's because when the 72 volt battery's in there, you need to extend the lid up a little bit. So that's currently where I'm at. I'll do another video exactly like this with the 72 volt so we can do a little compare and contrast. I know exactly how many miles each of them got in an hour of hard riding. I've been snowboarding all morning, but it's been like 50 degrees almost all week. I had a feeling there wouldn't be any more snow up here. And I was right, at least for now, at the lower elevation. trail is awesome. Kind of short, but super duper awesome. Wait till we get to the lake views. Magnificent. I miss my power. I guess I just have to ride better now. If I did this type of riding more, with the stock battery, I'd probably step up to the 64 tooth sprocket. Just get a little more of that low end. Cause that's full throttle right there. We're barely chugging up this bad boy. Yeah, see? Almost use our first 10% of battery in four minutes going up that sucker. Full throttle uphill. Range wise, e-bikes hate it but it's so much fun. And there we go, baby, yeah! So beautiful. Perfect time of day to be out here. Up on these awesome rocky single tracks. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. in a town just over the way and there's so many places to ride up here there's just a ton of places I haven't ridden but I live right in town so this is I'm pretty sure at the range extender I could ride from my house to here and all the way up which is pretty something pretty special I think I think there's some really fun climbs coming up here, if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, I'm very unfamiliar with the area. Oh yeah, just up this road a bit, and there's some... Oh, 
Averaging 8.8 .8 miles an hour. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Oh yeah, this is a battery killer right here. But it does it. That's what's so amazing about these bikes. We can work our way around this one. On the way down, let's we'll hop right over that mess. All right, where were we? 84% battery. She's dying quick, we were having fun. And we we're gonna regen on the way back down. And that totally counts. Here we go. With these short wheel bases, you're always fighting. Lean back far enough to get traction on the rear tire, but not so far back to pull yourself into a wheelie. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Can't believe it. Mid-March, the trails are already mint. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. We've been at full throttle for like a full minute so far. Battery's gonna love that. 75% battery, really not bad considering the amount of full send we're doing right now. One and a half miles, 12 and a half minutes. Safe to say, if you're doing steep single track, this battery's die quick. Good, good, how are you? Absolutely phenomenal out here. Well, that's the end of the line for me today. And I'll do the same exact trail when I do the test on the 72 volt. It's gonna be so different. I've been full throttle the whole time. I bet you on the 72 I'll be eight, maybe. And maybe some half throttles on some of the steeper climbs. And I'll get up there a lot faster. So I'll travel distance more quickly as well, but all that will be in the comparison video. For this video, 72 volt test, and then I'll do a video where I really dig through the stats and compare both of them. Two miles and 16 minutes is what my phone just said. That's pretty good considering how rough the terrain is, I think. We still got 64% battery. Three and a half miles and 27 minutes. Pause it. Workout paused. Turn off the bike, get some water, and then we're going up that thing. Kentucky. I think losing a little bit of spunk. For sure. We're just in the 40s, already losing a little spunk. Yeah, getting it. 
because the last 10% of this battery is doesn't even let you use it. So 10% is really zero. Made it back with 12% battery. You really notice the power loss. Ah, oh, epic day. 8.8 miles, average speed almost eight miles an hour, including the 10 minute conversation I had with the mountain bike guy here. So that means you got an hour of heavy uphill single track at full throttle. This tire probably weighs a pound more than stock, but honestly, you wouldn't be charging the hills like that without an upgraded tire. It's just part of it. That is a good send. I'm really happy with that. Stay tuned because we'll be doing it on the 72 volt very soon. <laughs>